Shall never be divided. A people united shall never be divided. A people united. That we can be here today as health workers in the midst of a surging second wave because of something that the ministry should have done 15 years ago. Something that has been provided for in the laws of this land, in the HR manuals, better issues that should never see Kenyans lack service. What the hell are they doing here in the appeals? So we are not going back until our issues are addressed. Thank you. Thank you. For us. And if that one is not given, I think Mutai Kagwe can find his team and they go to work. Let them go and see patient. Let them go and actually ensure that they are seeing patient in all the entries. And after saying that, I'm calling up on those who are still at home. We ask them to stay at home so that we are not crowded and, uh, and uh, actually uh, uh, trying to break the, 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 the infection of COVID-19. But what about Kenyans? What about the good of Kenyans? What will happen if after another 20, 30 years, we don't have any permanent staff in the health sector? When we will have contracts that are going for three to five years only, what will happen? We are not going to have any specialized cadre in this country. We will not have consultants. And our traffic to India, we will continue taking billions to India in the name of seeking medical attention. So I want to advise the government today, if they, nobody for the national government is still on. And unfortunately, we want to communicate that we are undeterred in this trek and in this quest to look for the promotion and the redesignation of the healthcare workers under the national government. We met last time around on uh, when we met last week, early this week, I mean, the ministry promised that by yesterday they were to start giving out letters of promotion and ensure that they are communicating on how this was to be done immediately. Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, solidarity.